Let's turn back the clock now to visit a place where time seems to have stood still for centuries. This is Porchester on the south coast, a remarkable example of a Norman castle inside a Roman one. Built in the form of a square with sides 200 yards long, Portus Aderni, as it was called then, is one of a chain of strongholds erected about the end of the third century AD to ward off Saxon raiders. Today, the ruins are preserved by the Ministry of Works, and as you'll discover, Porchester is far from dead. This is where the Normans built centuries later, where the troops of Henry V assembled before they embarked for Agincourt, and where prisoners were kept during the Dutch and Napoleonic Wars. Henry VIII and Elizabeth I used it as a country house. And then, a century and a half ago, the grounds were first used for the most characteristic of English games, cricket. Appropriately enough, only a stone's throw from Hambledon, where cricket is often said to have been invented. Today, it continues to complete a magnificent picture. There can be few other places in the world today where the scorers sit in the upper half of a Roman bastion with a changing room beneath, or where an ancient Norman keep serves as a grandstand. This is the claim of the cricketers of Porchester, a proud club in an even prouder setting. On a much larger scale, one of Britain's loveliest old cities is Durham. We won't spark off any arguments by saying it ranks first, but for sheer majesty, tranquility and character, you'd have to go a long way to find her equal. Enough has already been written about the famous cathedral, the castle and the university, 